Well, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex quick look. I'm going to take a look at the euro versus U.S. dollar after the U.S. CPI report. Speaking of the CPI, the month-to-month -month measures came in at 0.2% for the headline and the core. That was a 0. That was a 0.1% less than the expectations. The year-on-year -year for the core measure came down to 4.8%. Uh, they were expecting 5%, so that was uh, better than expected. The year-on-year uh, -year headline number came to 3%. Didn't get to the 2% handle. But this that close away from uh, getting getting to that level, we'll see how that uh, progresses going forward. forward. Shelter remains a key uh, contributor to it. It rose by 0.4%. That is still less than the 0.6% last month. Shelter contributes 34% to the CPI. And according to the uh, BLS, it, that accounted for 70% of the rise in the CPI this month. So uh, if shelter were ever to crack a little bit uh, under the pressure of the uh, mortgage rates and uh, uh, you know, perhaps a slower economy uh, in certain sectors, uh, then we, we should see a, uh, that move back down toward the 2% or at least closer to the 2% target. Fed's Barkin is uh, the first Fed governor or Fed member coming coming out saying that inflation remains still too high. And uh, with uh, it would be interesting to see how uh, inflation could come down when, with employment so high. Good point. Uh, let's uh, take a look at the euro versus U.S. dollar. Technically, from, from the uh, four-hour chart here, what we can uh, see is that the market has entered into a swing area ahead of the highest prices for 2023. That high price came in at 1.1095. Uh, before that is this uh, swing area here. We had swing swing highs here, 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 uh, maybe here, and uh, a low here when the market extended to the upside here and here. Uh, that The swing area that I'm talking about comes between one point. 1066 and 1.1075 the current price or the price moved up to one point in between that area 1.1071 current price trades at 1.1058 just uh, below or back below that swing area so we are seeing some reluctance to uh, add this uh, swing area ahead of the extremes uh, for the, the year again the extremes came in here at 1.1095 and uh, these other high prices came in just below that level at 1.1091 uh, getting above those uh, highs would open, up, needless to say, open up the door to further upside. If we take a look at the daily chart here, uh, that would uh, get the price above this level and then have traders looking toward this area through here on the, uh, uh, which uh, comes uh, around the 1.11316 level. Uh, there are different uh, swing highs and swing lows around that level, okay? So that would be the next uh, target on the top side. And then we'd look toward the uh, swing low going back to this uh, period, December 2021, 1.1084 uh, on the top side. Um, all that uh, comes on a break of the 1.1095. But right now we are seeing the sellers against this uh, swing area ahead of the extreme. Uh, a a move, that, move down uh, away from that level would have uh, traders looking toward the 1.10317 level. Uh, that level uh, corresponds on the uh, daily chart. Uh, to the high price that we saw in february of 2023 uh that uh, level again comes in 1.10317 i would expect buyers to lean against that level my name is greg mccloskey good fortune with your trading bye bye